Ouch. Oh, folks. Hey, we're getting ready to go to the uh, Tampa RV Super Show. And uh, got a lot, of, a lot of stuff to do with the A-Liner. It hasn't moved in a couple of months, actually. Geez, it's the longest time it's sat in, in uh, a year or two. Um, but here's a little video about uh, why you shouldn't want to buy an A-Liner. But watch this. This is a video I've been trying to do for the last six, seven months. And uh, hopefully you'll find it somewhat entertaining and uh, enlightening. If you're thinking about an, uh, an A-liner, watch this video. Hello folks. Today I think I'm going to go through a reasons you really don't want an A-liner. I mean I think an A-liner is something that's a pretty unique person. Um, I mean they're small, they're tiny. There's barely room for one German Shepherd, much less two. When I had two German Shepherds, we had quite a few arguments about whether they should be on the floor or up on the bed. Because when they were on the bed, they were out of the way. When they were on the floor, I couldn't walk around. So, it's not much room for, for two German Shepherds. And the second reason is because you can do a lot of modifications to it. And you're encouraged to and like solar panels just a couple hundred dollars i spent on that <laughs> the, the extra propane tanks extra batteries i've spent a lot of money on it it's like you just sink money into these things to make them nicer and better and everything it's like you're just asking for a hobby that takes a lot of money it's not quite as expensive as maybe competitive shooting or bowling maybe but it runs into money the other reason is that as you know it takes 15 seconds to put up a a-liner so that you can get in out of the rain or the bugs or the weather or whatever but um then it takes half an hour to an hour to explain to people how you did that and what kind of trailer it is and they've never seen it before and you just want to be alone and camp it's, the a-liner is not for you Reason number four is that you need a car to tow an A-liner. It's not the same as having a backpack on your back with a tent. You can do that on a bike. You can just walk. Um, you know, you can't really tow an A-liner with a Prius, though. So you get the little ones, you can. And when you get a tow vehicle, you start putting money into that. And you find out that you find out that you can tow it almost anywhere and then you add lift wheels on the A-liner and you tow it all over the place. It's, it, you, you don't want to get into an A-liner. It's just costing money and making you look like a certain type of person. The other reason you don't want an A-liner is because with the fridge with a freezer and the stove, you realize you don't have to go out to eat when you go camping. Which, who wants to cook? <laughs> I like going out when I had a tent. So you got your nice, I've got my nice outside stove. <sighs> but I like to go out to restaurants and get takeout and things like that and it just doesn't make sense with an A-liner. After all, I spend all this money on other things, I don't have money to go out anymore, so. Takes away the joy of camping. Another bad thing about the A-Liner is that it's so lightweight and small, you end up dragging it to all these neat places because you can't, you know? It, you forget it's back there behind the car. So you end up taking it to all these neat places to visit, which, you just shouldn't do. And one of the reasons I hate my A-Liner is because when I'm driving my 4Runner around the mountains all by itself, I'm getting 20 miles to the gallon. 19 to 20, usually. Up and down hills, through, through dirt roads, highways, 
all over the place. I'm getting eight, 19 to 20 miles a gallon. When I'm pulling the A-liner, I'm only getting 16 to 17 miles a gallon. I might as well have a motor home. I miss my other German Shepherd. This guy, this guy right here, come here. Come here. Hello. This guy is nice, but you know, he needs a playmate. <laughs> and I don't want to be it.